Right, so one other thing that's really useful to know is the find and replace function. So let's say we had a spelling error or had just a problem with our document, wanted to switch out data, whatever it is. One thing that we can do is use something called find and replace. And so what that does is that allows you to, it tells Google Sheets, you know, I want to find any cell with the word, say, swimming again, and replace it with swimming. So find, it'll highlight the next cell. As you can see, the cells are going to be moving down here. So it'll find the next cell, and then you can replace it. So you can press it, and you can see replacements are being made every time we hit replace. So there are two swimmings misspelled, or you can just hit replace all, and boom. All instances of swimming are now replaced with swimming spelled incorrectly. And so now you can see throughout the rest of the document, everything is spelled swimming. So now we're obviously going to fix that, but I just wanted to swimming replace with swimming properly spelled. So I just wanted to give you a sense of that powerful tool. As you can imagine, this is incredibly useful when someone is has a name is spelled in a document, when you want to find something in a document. So you can hit Command F, or you can go up here to find and replace, like I just showed you, and say we wanted to find uh, Yana. So that will show us the cells that contain the text Y-A-N-A. -A. So you can also do this. UKR should show us every instance of Ukraine. So as you can see, there doesn't need to be a space after it. So this is why find and replace can be, find can be a little tricky. Now, if I modify it so I have a space after it, suddenly there's no match for UKR space, but there is a match for UKR. If you see what I'm doing, that's how you can, that's how you can find any piece of data within this spreadsheet and also replace it with data that you need to using the find and replace format function, which is found under the edit column.